Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Gamer Genius TV, where we play games all the effing time. We're doing Isaac's blog this morning. I'm trying to sneak this in before we really start up the day, so let's go ahead and get to it. Oh yeah. So I got a, a little bit of a ways to catch up. And we just random Isaac with the D6. Sweet deal. So, hey, listen, I got a, a bit of a ways to catch back up uh, since I have missed a few episodes. Um, oh, wow, I can't believe that didn't actually get the tinted rock. So hard to key. Okay, so. <clears throat> oh, shit. I forgot to start my timer. So as I was saying, I've missed a few episodes. I'm trying to catch back up now. Um, I'm doing another Total War playthrough, so that's been taking up some of that time. But the majority of it is just real life stuff. That stuff, you know. Always hopping in the way. So if you don't know yet, Isaac's blog is a random speed run. Excuse me, I got the uh, that there mucus in my nose. That early morning mucus. Isaac or Isaac blog is a speed run uh, against fellow YouTuber and streamer Ziggity Zig. If you don't know who that is, then you should go check out his channel as well. He's on YouTube and Twitch. All the social media is at Ziggity Zig. Two G's and two T's. So check him out. Uh, but once a week we do a uh, speed run uh, with a random character. And we are attempting basically just to outtime the other person, or at the very least, make it through the game. Which doesn't always happen. Bombs there. So my goal for right now is to get off basement two in just over two minutes, which probably is not gonna happen. Unless we get something really good here. I will take that. That is good enough to start for me. It's not a great start. Could be worse. damage. Should have the famine down. Ooh, we almost got one watching hey. Alright, hey. 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 we got our meat. We got four bombs, so we're gonna go back and check our secret room real quick. Uh, we're almost three minutes. Uh, that kind of sucks, but oh, that's not it. Mm, where else would it be? I don't know. But we still have four bombs, so we're gonna check for a super secret room here. Ah, the dice. We're also gonna check not right there. Seems to me like there's only one other spot it could be. Oh, I'm wasting time running down there. Let's do it. There we go. And of course, it's a freaking heart room. Okay, moving on to the next floor. Maybe we'll find something a little better. Temperance card. Pop it right there. Double soul hearts. It's always nice. We're gonna leave those on the floor though. Kinda hoping we find a curse room. Which would not make sense to take the soul hearts and then lose them. And I could just. I'm sure that I'll find more red hearts on the floor. Replace those, then take the soul hearts. Should 
taking one of them. Something I would consider is taking one of the soul hearts to guarantee that I don't take red heart damage on the floor. So I'm not sure if we can go in our first room if that counts as red heart damage. So we may be coming back to that. a good damage up once you get up to once you get up to 99 cents I think it adds it's over three full damage okay, so we just gotta be real careful don't get hit by this boss guarantee ourselves a double deal just need to... Oh, how did that hit me? Well, we just lost our guaranteed double deal. Doesn't mean it's completely gone. Okay, we still got it. We found Guppy's paw. Naturally, I will be taking We also found Guppy's head, which means we are now two pieces in Guppy. Let's see, if we take the pact, we lose. Yeah, we take it. It's totally worth it. We only lost a single soul heart in that exchange. <clears throat> now, I would really like to have. Another re-roll. Just in case there was an item in here. Okay, so not, however, I have no bombs, so we're basically just going back. Nice. Going back just to holy shit, okay. Well, I've got plenty of health for future double deals. Two pieces in the guppy. We have money as power, we have a lot of health. We got the pact. Alright, let's let's keep going. Let's not waste time. Alright, so ah fucker. If you do not play the game, Guppy is a fantastic damage up plus flying because you get flies which do a percentage of the amount of damage you would normally do. I think it's 300%. And they spawn, they have a chance to spawn every time you shoot an enemy.
compass keys, if you know what to take them. It's not even a boss double or a boss challenge room, so why not take 99 keys? Should be relatively easy. So we're sitting on the damage the pact and the mark, as well as money equals power. Well we don't have much money, so that's not adding a whole lot. Wow, let's get stuff. take Spirit of the Night. Normally I would take that. Fuck yes. Now if we find Guppy, we're gonna be, be in good shape. We can carry mode. Check in here. There's a treasure map. Can't afford it. I really want it. I really prefer the compass over the map. Alright, so our typical time for a speedrun is uh, 40 minutes. Oh, and I did not take that second meat cube because it hurts more than it helps later on. It would help a lot right now, with extra damage, because it turns that meat cube orbiting me right now, it turns it into a orbiting familiar, which shoots when I shoot, so he would add in, it's actually a decent amount of damage too. But I don't want that because Isaac, Blue Baby, which are the final two bosses, both shoot retaliatory tears. Which means every time you shoot them, they shoot back. So having a familiar adds in to the amount of tears that are being shot at him, which adds in to the amount of tears he's shooting back. why flying is so important for me. Or at least having like a super damage item like Brimstone, Knife, Dr. Fetus, Epic Fetus. Those items become super important. There's finally some bombs. It's only two right now though. Rainbow Baby. Familiars. Alright, we want that money. Every bit means we are a little stronger. Got a double deal. Wow. Alright, 
right, I want to take this first just to make sure that I get at least three soul hearts in case there's a soul heart deal in there. Uh, two hearts. Don't really want. And it is Krampus. <laughs> Well, Krampus is gonna give us the cold. Shit. Which is a It's a small it's a weird damage up by Um Fuck. The further your tears travel. Oh my god, it's three hits. Four hits! Five! Oh my god! I'm gonna just quit this game now. Piss on a stick. That sucked. Each Krampus. Each face. It's a really good thing I have that miter. I'm checking this curse room, I'm getting rid of that soul heart, I'm dropping down to really low health, but it's for a good reason. I really want a guppy piece, and it's possible that it can be inside there, so... I'll take it. We're gonna go check shop. We're also clearing the floor a little bit, looking for a bomb. Just so I can use this two of clubs up. You know, only getting two, two bombs out of it. Doesn't look like I'm going to get it, though. Definitely taking the time to build up our money. I'm also going to take this soul heart and the ladder. Okay. For this trick, basically, it cost me a half of a. It's supposed to only cost me half of a soul heart. You're right. But as you're walking through the doors, after you get hit, you get a few seconds of invulnerability. As you walk through the doors, that invulnerability doesn't go away. So you're constantly walking back and forth through the doors, keeping that invulnerability on you, while popping your IV bag. So you're not taking any damage from the IV bag, but you're still getting cash money. I got another reroll, so I can use it on this IV bag. I think I have another reroll. <coughs> and I went and picked up that soul heart specifically because I do screw up sometimes. And as you can see, I did, which is why I lost half of that soul heart. And it's a little bit harder when recording it because there's a little bit of lag. It makes it a little different. You can hear me constantly tapping the space bar. I do apologize for that. You have to get the timing down just right. And it's not quite right for me right now. But if you screw it up, you lose a half a heart. You go too soon. late, you don't pop the IV back. Where are those 
those dimes and nickels at? There's a nickel. Let's speed this along. I'll also play the skull guy once or twice. Just to see if we can pick up the schedule a little bit. This will give me a recharge on my D6 so I can reroll that IV bag. It's probably too much. I'm probably taking too much. I mean, it's probably nothing. I know I'm taking too much, but I really want to get these rerolls. Two gloves, give me eight bombs. That's why I was holding on to that. Um, our super secret room can't be in too many spots, actually. That's a quarter, which I totally don't need. Super secret room could be here. down to a half a heart, or half a red heart, specifically, before leaving that room with the IV bag. Not just because I only had half a soul heart left and it would have taken one shot, anything to kill me. We don't want that. So we're going to hope that there is another uh, way for me to get rid of soul hearts later on to get rid of red hearts later on without losing soul hearts. Guppy? Guppy? I'm gonna be guppy. It's a free check anyway. 
Is that the ladder, I suppose? That kind of helps. A little bit. Big as this damn floor, I should have just went. Should have just left. Ugh. I want my damn item right now. Wait for that item room for garbage. Damn it. We are way behind on time. Two headless weapons. Yeah. 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 Translates into a compass. No compass. Still no compass, but we will take the habit. We 
these guys. Nobody likes these guys. I think we're going the right way. Find a boss. Kidding me, this room sucks. Have to do the room all over again. yet. We're actually going to go look for a secret room and our item room. Jesus Christ, useless. Just useless. I'm going to try up here to the right. Which means we can drop our red hearts down. Our Polaroid, uh, Polaroid procs. Once we get the Polaroid, we can do on this level. Oh man. So much for that. So, still not good enough. Like, our damage isn't quite there. We still need something else. We still have not won this run yet, but even with all the carry we've picked up. Still not quite there. Maybe we got a knife waiting for us. Or maybe we got super extra shitty garbage waiting for us. <clears throat> oh, that was close. Come on. Give me something good.
sure what blue mom does that's different. Oh, it looks like she just spawns harder shit. Motherfucking greenheads. I hit nothing with that too. Ah, bitch, die. Range isn't so bad right now. So my range is a little low. Alright, we've got just one more chance at a double deal. And we are way behind schedule. We're at 35 minutes, and are you serious? We're getting a labyrinth floor. <sighs> what did I ever do to you, game? What did I ever do to you? No, not a labyrinth. So what the hell is that about? God, I wish I had something. Brimstone. I really wish I had brimstone or a knife. You know, I forgot I had the habit. We may have to start forcing stuff here. Really, really hoping for a double deal on this floor. I should try and force my guppy. Nice, okay, so found a boss, nice and early. Got me in and out of there. Which again, flying saves us from taking any damage there. Horseman. Why do you hate me so? Just sailed right out of the way. Ah! So now I just lost a huge percentage of my double defense.
not seen this run getting completed anymore. There's no way. 
there. There is no freaking way. Got so carried early on. And then it just disappeared. Thank God for that. Don't know what I would do without a hangman card. We're totally gonna go back and take that though. Shit. Oh, fuck. I'm so dead. Nothing is dropping hearts. Better do that. Give me a fucking heart, man. Any kind of heart at this point. God, that's it. Uh. Uh. That sucked. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's actually my first D6 death in a fucking long time now. Something like the last eight runs or so. That's pretty damn good for me anyway. <clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I certainly appreciate it. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button for me. Check me out on all the social media, on Twitter, on Facebook. I also do live streaming on Twitch TV, slash Gamer Genius TV. So check that out, and uh, tune in for next time. Peace.